Hello everyone, this is your host for CondoVoice.com, Ken Komet. Every condominium building is inspected annually by your local fire marshal. This inspection is primarily to verify that your pumps, hydrants, hoses, alarms, smoke detectors, and extinguishers are all in working order and up to code. The inspector will also cite things that are a hazard and would be a life safety issue. A recent inspection of one local condominium building found a few potential electric shock hazards on the roof. The video to follow demonstrates why these repairs were needed and how they were repaired. Keep in mind that even though rooftops are out of sight and out of mind, and locked to the public and residents, you should have these areas inspected at least annually by your own professionals, and any hazards should be repaired. Enjoy the video. All right, so uh, Tom. Yes, sir. All right, so we got to replace a whip. Tell me what a whip is and show me what you did here. All right, a whip is coming out of the load side of the disconnect out yep. to the air conditioning unit. Okay. This is a disconnect, means of disconnect. It's for service of the unit. If right. there's any problems up here for an AC or an electrical technician, right. they come up here and they're able to disconnect the unit without having going down into the unit down below and turn off the breaker. Okay. This is just strictly for service of the units. And basically what the problem was is coming out of the bottom of the disconnect, a lot of the connectors were broken and destroyed and rusted and, and no longer any good. So we replaced this line coming out and over to the unit. And up inside, make sure that there's good connectors, the right size wire, and both connectors are properly fastened and secured in place. All right, because the building here was inspected by a fire inspector. Yes. And he uh, labeled these areas as concerns, so you're going through each area here and repairing what's necessary. Yes. All right, and this is called a whip. Yes. Why do they call it a whip? Um, why do they call it a whip? Yeah, W-H-I-P or something. Yeah, the, um, it's just a short length, um, basically from the disconnect to the unit. Okay. Um, I don't know why they call it a whip. That's okay. a good question. It's probably just a uh, just a layman's term. Layman's terms, technology term. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Okay, so Tom, the other issue here was we've got a what's this called? A pitch pan? Yes, sir. All right, and that's where all of the pipes, the freon pipes and the electrical pipes go down into the building and then on into the units, right? Yes. Any of the conduits or anything that come penetrating through the roof yep. are required to come through a pitch pan. Um, these pitch pans are bonded through a roofer to guarantee that they don't roof and right. uh, they don't leak. Right. Anything that come, comes up through a commercial roof has to be bonded by a commercial roofer to be able to take care of this stuff. So what you had here is you had one of the old whips going down through the pitch pan tar and, and coming, coming out the, out other, the other, side other side over here. All right, so rather than remove that and cause a leak in the pitch pan tar, That's you just ran the new line up above it. Yes, this one right above it. Instead of going down through, I cut it off short here, and I cut it off short underneath here. And instead of pulling that out of the tar, and my concern is if I removed it out of the tar that there would be a leak or something like that, I just left it in the tar, and the tar will, you know, this tar will actually heat up and I mean, you can see where it's getting soft already and malleable. Um, you can actually take that and rework it around that, but it's not going to hurt anything. It's I'd not going to leak right now, then. No, sir. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tom. Not a problem. So listen, these are the whips, and some of these whips still have water and different things inside, right? Yes. Okay. Let's have a look at that, Pedro. Can you pour some of that out of there? See if it'll flow out. Let me look at them on the far end. There's a connect. That's a bad connector. I yeah, like I see the liquid in there. Yep. Okay. Oh, here we go. That's well, anyway, you probably dumped all the water out of that one. Yep. Yeah. Alright. But I mean, you can see as far as bag connectors, stuff like this is what we're talking about. Right. Where it's just, this is the connector where it was attached to the unit. Right. And it's broken wide open, exposed wires, stuff like that on the roof. One more. So why is this yeah. a hazard, Tom? That's a hazard because you have exposed electrical conductors. Um, out to the elements right. and it's only a matter of time before that deteriorates and it'll cause a short this metal conduit the inside of this conduit is metal and as soon as it causes a short oh I see it right here yeah you'll end up having this more. one is no connector just inside the unit just hanging there like just that. hanging yeah. in there okay. a lot of them were just this stubbed up inside of the air conditioning unit without no, a with no connector on it even broken off or anything okay so yeah. by replacing them you definitely um, improving the quality of the, the units up there. Great. All right. Thanks.